September 19, 2022. I am at the Grand Central Terminal for the train heading to Garrison, Upstate, New York. From Harrison, I am biking across Hudson River to Bio Mountain Park. It is my last attempt to find red spotted newt this year, before the cold season starts. Hello guys! I made it finally to the Bio Mountain State Park. It's beautiful here. Really cool. Today is a Monday. Uh, I forgot what day is it. <laughs> 19th and 20th September. Anyway, uh, I arrived here um, on, um, on a train uh, and um, um, from this point I'm going to um, explore here a little bit. It's beautiful really and um, very quiet. And uh, from here I will go on my bike. You can see it right there. Yeah. Uh, so from mountains, uh, from uh, Bear Mountain State uh, National Park I will go back home on bike. It's gonna be beautiful, right? I hope so. <laughs> so far, it's really all great. Um, there is so much to explore. I already seen pretty cool animals. Uh, newts, yes. <laughs> there are newts and uh, much more. I, I saw a tarantula, but I didn't get chance to take a picture of it. But uh, there is a fish in this lake. I've seen a couple fish fall off this dome. Right there. And if you... I'm not sure if you can see from here. There is a snake, a quite big snake, about three feet long, right there. Ah, hunting for fish, I suppose. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, uh, I'm not gonna mess with a snake. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's uh, yeah. I was trying to make um, uh, live stream. No way. <laughs> I have just one bar on my. Uh, Oh, snake is swimming. You can see it here. The trace of it. If it goes to the waterfall. Yeah, and along, along, along. Swimming quite fast. Huh. Cool. Oh, anyway, um, I will keep you updated on uh, whatever I'll find here. Uh, yeah, if I get luck, I'll get nudes. <laughs> I got down closer to the snake for you to see it. Here it is. The snake picks the nice sunny spot to sunbase while waiting for fish to catch. And from here I'm going to explore a bit further down the stream. Judging by the maps, I am at the Tim Brook. Aha! I see a newt resting underwater on a rock. Let's look around. Maybe I could spot more newts. There is one a bit far, but can be seen very clearly. Walking around, I spotted many adult newts. They have about 2-3 inch long bodies with the tails of about the same length. Newts move swiftly away when I try to get too close. This one is hard to see over the reflection. Here is another newt. This one is swimming, to grab some air, I suppose. I have to see those newts closer to identify them. I managed to pull three newts out of water. All three have all the marks and fill the description of adult red spotted newts. I've been looking for them for so long in so many different places around New York City. Finally! On my last trip this year I found the red spotted newts. I am over 50 miles away from home. That takes hours of riding on a bike. I put newts in a couple of 32-ohs food grade containers that are too small for long hours of transportation. Newts need air for breathing. So I'm making frequent stops every 30-40 minutes to open the containers for 5 minutes or so. The bike path along the west side of Hudson River provides amazing sightings. 
and watch out for deer. I wish I was riding my mountain bike for many long miles of the gravel bike path. Here I spotted a cute one. This is a relatively even section of gravel bike path without hills. I dare to ride with my phone in one hand. My old road bike somehow handles this road quite well. I'm not sure about the three newts. It is so quiet and beautiful and monumental here. Deer again. Okay, now I have to pull on brakes. Deer let me come very close. Hudson is magnificent. Standing here, I don't miss the noise of the big city at all. Okay, I have to keep riding for sake of my nudes. I got to get them home as up. Beautiful. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> so cool. I love this. You beautiful, adorable. Love you so much. <laughs> It's crazy. After about five hours of my ride and dozen short stops, Nudes want to get Moyer. This one climbed out of the water as soon as I opened the container. There are a couple things I already learned from this trip. Red spotted adult aquatic newts still breathe atmospheric air. The two newts in a 32 oz container look more stressed than the single newt in the same size container. And the city noise we all get used to is very horrible and annoying to me right now. I'm about a 40 minutes rush ride from North Central Park of NYC to Roosevelt Island. All soaked in the rain that caught me in New Jersey, but happy. In less than an hour I'll be home. I think this is the last stop before I get home. The final six long hours of my almost a year long quest to find newts is over. All three newts made it. It's time to introduce newts to their new home. Here all three newts go. This is the happy ending of my search for a red spotted newts quest. And this is the beginning of new adventures. This paludarium has much more space than the one shown in my previous videos. I'm very excited about getting new pets. There are tons of observations for me to make and learn about my newts. I need to figure out a lot of things about the care of newts. I hope to make this paludarium as sustainable and self-feeding as I did with all my aquarium gardens. And I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you in many new videos. It's all going to be great! Life is beautiful. Have fun and happy adventures!